Hi everyone, this is Vadim from LangChain, and today I'd like to introduce LangGraphJS Supervisor, a JavaScript library for creating hierarchical multi-agent systems using LangGraph. These are the types of multi-agent architectures that have multiple specialized worker agents that are managed by a single supervisor agent. The supervisor agent is the one you interact with as a user, and it also delegates different tasks to specialized agents, collects their results, and responds back to you as a user. But let's dive in and take a look at a demo. Here we have a simple supervisor multi-agent system with two expert agents. One is, is a math expert agent that has access to simple calculator tools like addition and multiplication, and another agent for research that has search tool that returns mock search results. And we're going to ask this whole multi-agent system a question, what's the combined headcount of FANG companies in 2024? It's a simple query that requires multi-step reasoning here, where we first need to fetch the results for individual companies, and we're going to use research expert, and then we're going to use math expert to calculate the combined count. Very simple example for demo purposes. So let's take a look at the flow here. First, the supervisor receives the original user input and decides which expert to route to. In this case, it routes to the research expert. The research expert receives those messages from supervisor and decides which tools to call. It calls search tool, and then it produces its own results here. So it fetches the stats for each company and then transfers back to the supervisor. Supervisor then sees all of these results from the agent and decides that it needs to transfer to the math expert. Once the math expert receives the history of messages, including the research expert results, it decides to call its own tools and produces the final combined headcount for FANG companies, which it then passes back to the supervisor. The supervisor finally looks at all of these results from both agents and decides to respond to the user with the final response with the combined headcount for all companies. And it's worth looking more closely at the math expert steps. So we can see that it receives all of those messages up until that point with the research agent's results and decides to call its add tool to calculate combined headcount. So we see that happening here. It calls the add tool in a loop until it has the final count. And then it responds to the supervisor and hands back to it. Now let's talk about the key concepts involved in building multi-agent supervisor system. The first concept is the concept of an agent. And in the simplest form, it can be a tool calling LLM, calling a bunch of tools in a loop until it produces a final answer. In the library, we actually have a more flexible definition of an agent you can add, which is simply a graph that can take a list of messages and output a list of messages. Supervisor is a special kind of agent that has access to so-called handoff tools. And this brings us to the second concept, which is the concept of a handoff. In essence, it's a way for you to represent a change in the control in the system, which agent is active at any given moment in time. And handoffs also include what type of data is passed from one agent to another. Now let's take a look at a concrete example. Let's say a human asks a question, the supervisor receives that question and decides which agent to hand off to based on the original question. In this case, let's say it decides to transfer to the research expert. So we populate these two calls and hand off the history of messages so far to the specialized research agent. The agent sees this history up to this point and then makes a determination on which tools to call. It then calls these tools in a loop until it has the final answer, at which point we transfer back to the supervisor. So we do another handoff and then the supervisor receives that whole history of messages, including the output from search agent, and then decides do I need to hand off to any more agents or do I have enough information to respond to the user directly? And the key piece here is that you can actually control how much of the internal monologue from each agent is passed back to the supervisor. You can choose to pass the full history, including all of the intermediate tool calls, or you can actually output only the final AI agent output. And in the library, the default is actually only outputting the final agent output. Now let's take a look at the code to create the supervisor multi-agent system. First off, we define a model that is going to power the individual agents as well as the supervisor. The tools for individual agents, such as math tools or our math expert, and the web search tool that returns mock search results. Then for each of the agents, we can use the pre-built 
Lang graph React agent. In this case, a math agent is going to have the access to math tools and some prompt, and the research agent is going to have access to the web search tool with a custom prompt as well. And finally, we combine these using the create supervisor function from the library that takes a list of agents that we just defined, the model that controls the supervisor, the prompt that describes in more depth how to operate the system, and the output mode which is controlling how much of the agent's history is added to the full multi-agent system's history. And that's all you need. Then we compile the multi-agent workflow and invoke it with the user question. Now let's take a look at the length mid trace of the supervisor run we just did. So first off, the supervisor receives the user input, uh, the question, what's the combined headcount? It then decides to transfer to the research expert to do some research. The research expert receives all of this history and generates the answer. Then just adds the handoff back to the supervisor. Under the hood, you can see that we are actually issuing individual web search queries to get all of the relevant data. And then at the end, combining that to the final response from this agent. Then the supervisor decides to make another handoff over here after it receives all of that history, so now it wants to transfer to math expert. And then if we go to math expert, we'll see that it receives this whole history up until the transfer, and then it outputs the combined headcount after doing the math. And under the hood, same as before, you'll be able to see the math expert calling its own tools, like addition, producing the final answer over here, and then responding with the response. And then the supervisor takes all of this information and then simply responds to the user with a synthesized response based on the agent outputs. The last thing I'd like to mention is that you can actually create multiple levels of hierarchies using this library. For example, instead of creating a single supervisor, you can actually have separate teams that are all managed by their own supervisors and then have a top level supervisor where the individual agents are the teams that are themselves the supervised for multi-agent systems. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you really enjoy this library. Let us know if you have any questions or suggestions in the comments, and we'll catch you next time.